My name's Paul Cleeton from Review Farming, Hilston. Uh, we purchased the Colin Miller Deep Ripper early in 2018. Uh, we purchased it because we needed a bigger machine to uh, break the hard pan on some of our soils. Some of the key features of this machine is the construction. I looked around a couple of different machines and found that the Colin Miller machine was a lot stronger, heavier steel, thicker steel. One thing about this job, it takes a lot of horsepower and it's a pretty hard job, so one thing I didn't want is it cracking up. With the nose control, as in levelling, it's quite easy to adjust. Another good feature about this machine is the ease of depth control. To change the depth, it's quite easy to pull the pin out. Get rid of one washer, put her in. Off we go. So, one person job, quite easy. It has very good clearance. So if you've got any sticks or stubble that you're dragging when you go to turn around, it'll let them go. And then also we're ripping at about 600 deep here and there's still plenty of height between frame and the ground. So there's plenty of clearance there for flow as well. Another good feature is it's got good standard tires off the shelf. You blow a tire, you can pick up one of these anywhere. It's got standard bearings and hubs and axles. Another good thing is the, the tines. They're made out of 400 bisaloy. Got the chocolate bar on the bottom. Got standard ripper points. Work quite well. As you can see, they go through the ground quite well. Another feature is quite easy is the shear bolt. If you break a shear bolt, you lift it up, it goes, falls back into position there so you can put the shear bolt in. You're not trying to lift the tine up, which are quite heavy. Also, it's got very thick frame here so if it does bust a shear bolt the frame doesn't split apart which was one of the good features that I liked about that I'd seen with other machines that had failed. This machine's got a hydraulic rotary equaliser so you don't need phasing rams. This machine's quite heavy when you lift it up put it down it's splitting the oil equally which no doubt helps that you don't need phasing rams and get into trouble or it also helps with seals blowing out things like that. Another thing we've found since operating this machine, we had an older machine that was using up to about 26 litres a hectare. It was a lot narrower machine with no doubt a smaller tractor but since we've been using this machine with the bigger horsepower we're roughly about 20% in fuel saving with this V type design which no doubt it starts the first time hits the ground and it's like a domino effect as comes through which saves on horsepower which no doubt saving on horsepower saves fuel as well. We've had a great experience purchasing this machine from Colin Miller Griffith. Yeah the machine was delivered out here put together the next day in the paddock that afternoon had no trouble since.